catching up with Haley Grip. It's your girl Bianca B, like a bumblebee, and you're watching the Bianca B Show. I was super excited about this guest because her situations and the things that she has faced in her life is extremely important, and she overcame it, and I love that. And her name is Haley Grip. How are you? I am doing good, thanks. Now, Haley, I love your movement and the anti-bullying advocate, and I, and I love that. And the reason for that is because I was bullied in elementary, and I never talk about it, so this is like the perfect episode to talk about it. And me and my director, Jessica, we were just talking about, we should talk about bullying, and then you came into the picture, and it's just perfect. Explain your story to our viewers just from the beginning. When I was 10 and a half, I walked into my current doctor, and he said to my mom, your daughter has Tourette syndrome. I remember my mom crying, oh, and because wow. we didn't know what it meant, and it was almost as if having a diagnosis was scarier than right. not knowing. Um, but little did I know that just getting diagnosed, that was just the beginning of, of my problems. Right. But when he told me, Haley, you will never have control of your body, I looked him in the eyes, and I told him no. So two years have gone by. I was 12, now going into seventh grade at a brand new school. And from the second day of school on, the teacher made it very clear that students with differences and disabilities mm -hmm. were not accepted and not tolerated. Oh, wow. Um, every day for two years, because I had her for two years, she would bring me up in front of the class and say, class, what do you think Haley forgot today? And they'd raise their hands. 7.55 to 8 a.m., most kids said the Pledge of Allegiance. We thought what Haley forgot. Um, you know, it was really, really difficult. I had never in my life experienced being bullied by a teacher. And oh, wow. I could go on and on about those things, but what I prefer to talk about is how I made a difference right. from it. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it got to a point where there were no laws in place to protect me and my circumstance was a little bit different. It wasn't just the teacher being mean. It was discrimination, right. but due to a disability. And um, so the principal kind of took the teacher's side. Um, I remember I was academically bullied, and uh, she tried to fail me in a class. And my mom got that overturned because that was illegal. Yeah. But um, I basically put a wall up to protect me from the pain. And at 16 years old, my Tourette's was, was not great. Oh, wow. um, I, I was not having many friends because I couldn't trust. And I thought, what is holding me back? Right. Why, why am I so unhappy and angry? And it all goes back to that teacher and the students who bullied me. And so I decided to forgive them and mm -hmm. let it go. Yeah, that's and important. That's yeah, very important. Exactly. And that's one of the hardest <coughs> things we do. But like... I always like to say is it is never too late to forgive someone, but it's also never too late to say I'm sorry. Oh, wow. And so then um, I decided, you know what, now that my Tourette's are better because once I forgave them, my tics got about 60% better. Oh, wow. I was just that negative energy. Yeah. Once I forgave them, uh, I decided I wanted to make a positive difference. So. I trained as an ambassador for the Tourette Syndrome Association, That's awesome. and they helped to give me the tools to lobby in Washington, D.C., and I played a prominent role in getting the IDEA Act passed. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, seriously, you know, bullying in general is one of the most difficult things a person can go yeah. through. And I think that's why I'm so into empowering women mm -hmm. because I was bullied in fifth grade. Yeah. I didn't tell my mom, and it was horrible. It was one of the worst experiences in my life. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask what? You don't have to, but I was just curious. <laughs> it's not me now. Bullying. I had long hair. I don't have clip-ins. I, I, my hair used to be this length, and girls used to like try to cut my hair off and try to steal my money, take my money, because I was the only child. I was my teacher. So it's weird that a teacher bullied you because the teacher helped me. And yeah, that's the end of that. <laughs> no crying for me. Well, you are very strong. Thank you. To come out with 
the optimism that you have today, and that's a gift. Mm -hmm. So thank you for empowering others because we need more people like you. And thank you so much, Haley. Of course. This is a great interview. Please tell our subscribers about the Anti-Bullying Advocate, everything that you have going on in this camera right here. My website is HaleyElizabethGrip.com. Also, don't forget to catch me in the new Lionsgate film, The Vatican Tapes, which comes out in two months. Awesome. Thank you so much. Make sure you guys go to our YouTube, youtube.com slash Bianca B Show, at Instagram and Twitter, at Bianca B Show. Go to BiancaBee.com like a bumblebee. It's your girl, Bianca B. Thank you so much, Haley. Of course. Thank you, guys.